by balloon-borne incendiary devices launched from the Gaza Strip for the second day in a row. The fires, all located in the Eshkol region adjacent to the border, were small and posed no risk to nearby communities. Hamas also launched balloons on Tuesday in response to the Jerusalem flag parade, and the IDF struck Hamas terror targets in the Strip on Tuesday night, the first Israeli military action in Gaza since the new government took office. Defense correspondent Jonathan Regev reports. Had the message been driven home? That's the question the Israeli security establishment is asking Thursday regarding Israel's response to incendiary kites and balloons sent from the Gaza Strip. Hamas is used to these incidents passing without a response. On Tuesday night, in the first test of its new government, Israel attacked military positions belonging to the Gazan organization after kites and balloons caused more than 25 fires all along the Gaza border while right-wing Jews were parading through the old city of Jerusalem. This morning we woke feeling much better after the IDF did what it did and dealt with the issue. What's called keeping one's word. A balloon is like a missile and they need to know that the homeowner has gone crazy. For every balloon, a building. Then it will stop, maybe. Wednesday was far quieter with only six fires reported. Due to the much smaller number compared with the previous day and reports from Gaza about an order to stop the balloons, Israel this time did not react. How did one night's reaction and another night's quiet be received on the other side? The next few days will tell us.